Hi and welcome to this Fusion 360 tutorial. Today we're going to look at the final challenge within the fillet and chamfer tutorials and that is how to add a fillet or a variable fillet to an edge. So if you require any of the files, uh, the completed models, please check the link in the description below and we'll jump straight into Fusion and have a go. So the last thing we're going to look at is how you can add a variable fillet to edges okay or one edge for example so what we've got on the screen here is a basic extruded rectangle so a sort of a cuboid which i've then added a variable fillet to each edge and we have full control of where the fillet starts and ends and also the sizes and this is quite an interesting technique to use so if you imagine if you were designing something quite organic like this okay it's a very easy way of of manipulating those radiuses to create this sort of weird and organic shape. There are other ways you could do this, but they are a little bit more time consuming. For example, and I'll put some other videos of this up as well, is where you could use the form or you could even go into surfacing and do this technique. But this is a very quick and simple way of adding a variable fillet. So if we go into a new design, I'm just gonna draw a basic cuboid out. And if I go up to center rectangle, I would say 60 by 200 or something like that. I'll actually make it 75, okay? And extrude this up. If I go in E for extrude or extrude at the top and click OK. So this is what we've got up to now. If I now go to fillet and I click on that edge and I type in 10 millimeters, like previously, from like one of the first parts of this uh, tutorial, you can see here, it just adds a constant 10 millimeter radius all the way down that edge. And if we go to variable, this is where it can get a little bit interesting because at the moment, the start point where the arrows turn blue up here is 10 millimeters and the end point is 10 millimeters. But I've got full control of this now, so I could go a little bit different on that. So I could go to 12 or maybe 15. So you see now it's going from 15 to 10. Now what's really clever is I can actually add some extra points. So if I go along here, you see the red dot appears. And if I get towards the center, okay, when it turns green, that's the center point. So I've now added a point. So now I can go like that. So what we've got is it's going from the start, 10 millimeters, merging up to halfway 20, and then going down to 15. And we can continue to add extra points. So I can add an extra point there. And I go, actually, I want that one going down to five. So you can see, you can quickly start to add, if we don't lose where we're going, okay, which points we're selecting. You can see, you can quickly start deforming the shape by just clicking on the point and changing the size or the dimension. And then we can click on add another set. So we might go into this point here now. Let's move that over so you can see. So a start point, which is highlighted in where the blue hour is. So it might go five, okay, or 15 maybe. So it matches up with that the other one there. We can then go to the end. I want this to be five because I want to go on and then we want to go halfway again is the green dot and instead that point I don't know we might go two or something like that all right and again I can add an extra selection and go around and deform this all the way around so it's a very simple way of adding a very sort of organic shape like so and then what I've done if you go back to this one you can see I've gone around and continued and added lots of uh, different sized fillets. I then, if I just grab this back, I go underneath. Okay. I added a very simple shell to shell that out. And you can see the shell then follows those fillets. Okay. To create that sort of really weird but interesting design and that could be for, you know a very simple mold to mold something in it like a, some chocolate something like that so it's a very simple 
okay, but effective way of adding variable radiuses to edges. Thanks for watching, and if you found this content helpful, please click like and subscribe, and also check out any other resources and videos created using the links in the description. I'll see you on the next one.